Hi everybody, it's me, Eric. It's been a while since I've done any kind of update like this, but uh, the summer is over. Things are starting to get in a little bit more of a rhythm again, and so I just wanted to uh, kind of set out uh, just a little video just to let everybody know what we've been up to, what you can be praying for us for, uh, the exciting things that have been going on. Uh, first of all, this summer Ruthie turned one year old, and uh, she, let's see, June 15th, she turned one year old. We had a birthday party for her. Uh, it was very exciting. Uh, a couple months later, she started walking. And so she's cruising around everywhere now. We can hardly even keep up with her. She's really getting to be a lot of fun. And uh, we're just, she's a beautiful little girl. She's got a great spirit. Uh, she listens fairly well. And uh, we're just, praise the Lord, for giving us an awesome little girl. We're really proud of her. Uh, we had youth camp uh, in our district here in the Tri-State District, which is a pretty big deal. Uh, I'm the district youth president, so I'm responsible for youth camp. And it went pretty well uh, for the second year in a row. We were very organized this year and, and got everything to go down without a hitch. And uh, the teens just responded awesome. And we were able to take a really good group from our church here, too, uh, from the underground. And uh, it turned out really well. So we were really satisfied with the way that camp went. Uh, my parents, uh, who some of you know, they lived about 45 minutes west of us. And we're in Warrington, Missouri here. And uh, they're actually, they moved back and are in the process of building a house, which they're hoping to move into the second week of November. And so we've been uh, busy even helping them with some projects, uh, helping them do the electrical work, and which my family has a background in. And so they've, they've been doing a lot of the building themselves, but also contracting a lot out. So we've had a good time helping them with that. And then I was able to take one of my youth leaders and, and along with myself, and we went to Fuel for Wesleyan Youth Leaders in Orlando to get ready uh, for the youth convention there in December. It was awesome. It's a beautiful place. We had a really, really good time. A lot of good laughs, good friends. Uh, some of you maybe that are even watching this video, I, I got to catch up with and see you. And that was a lot of fun. That was really cool to be able to catch up with everybody. And there's always kind of a little bit of a, a sadness when you leave friends like that and, and ones that you got to catch up with and, and that you really enjoy being around. But uh, for those of you that I did get to see, you guys are awesome. Uh, thanks for being an encouragement and, and uh, even lifting my spirits a little bit. We uh, Going back into the fall, we, we've started our youth program again, which is very, very different from what we've traditionally done. We are now having our youth on Sunday nights, and it's from 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock, so we're moving to a two-hour format instead of just a one-hour format, and we're also implementing our small group time at the end of our youth time. So... Uh, there at the end, we break out into our groups, and it's divided by age and grade and gender. And our different leaders help us uh, lead the the groups with the lesson that I have provided. And I'm actually only preaching about uh, 10 or 15 minutes each night. And we're really trying to focus on relationships. And we're calling that 712. That's for 7th through 12th grade. And then also now on Wednesday nights, we've started an entirely new program. It is called 56. And it's sort of a pre-youth program for 5th and 6th graders. And as I said, that's Wednesday nights, 6.30 to 7.30. And so it's just an hour. And, and we had our first 56 meeting last Wednesday, and it was awesome. They've got unbelievable energy. They're excited to be there. And I just was really able to feed off it and had a really, really good time. It was it was a lot of fun. Uh, for those of you that know that I'm, I'm into hunting, uh, especially bow hunting, archery, I've been getting ready the last several months, shooting my bow a lot, which is extremely therapeutic for me. I, can't, I don't know of any better way that I can connect and relax and clear my mind and speak to the Lord when I've got a bow in my hand. So uh, hopefully it's going to start cooling off and I'll be able to get in, a, in, in the stand looking for deer and turkey this, this fall. Uh, and then just recently, last Tuesday, my sister Emily, who was pregnant with twins, um, her and, and her husband James were expecting two baby girls on Christmas Eve, December 24th, and Tuesday morning Emily woke up and uh, was going into labor. So she went to the hospital and ended up uh, delivering uh, via C-section uh, two baby girls, Emerson and Stella, 15 weeks early. Emerson weighed 1 pound 9 ounces and Stella weighed 1 pound 13 ounces. And really, it's a miracle. I, I just can't. My faith has been so strengthened by this because you can just see the power of God working in such a way where these, these two little bitty girls are completely developed, completely formed. Their lungs are in good shape. 
but they've still got a, a long road ahead of them. They have to be in the hospital until uh, December 1st. And so Emily and James, uh, my sister and brother-in-law, are going to be driving back and forth every day, taking turns. The family's going to be helping. But if you would, please be in prayer for, for my family uh, during this time, and Emily and James especially, and the two little girls. God's already done some awesome stuff, and I know that he's going to continue to, but we could really definitely use your prayer during this time. Uh, if you'd like to see the little girls or kind of get updates on how they're doing, James has created a uh, blog for them. It is emersonandstella.blogspot.com, E-M-E-R-S-O-N-A-N-D-S-T-E-L-L-A.blogspot.com. And then also I wanted to let you know that uh, I'm going to start trying to keep up uh, with my Facebook and, and my blog again a little bit more actively. And so I'll, this video, you might be watching it from my blog, but I'll be having some posts there and uh, hopefully getting pictures of Ruthie back up and trying to keep you a little bit more updated with that. But um, you can uh, check our blog. It is Ebbinghaus, E-B-B-I-N-G-H-A-U-S dot blogspot dot com. Feel free to stop by and uh, check it out. And uh, please just uh, leave us a comment, a message. Let us know how you're doing. And uh, it's good to see everybody. Thank you.